All right, TSA, this is, show, this is a video that will show you how to make a car in AutoCAD. I'm going to assume that you have very minimal experience in AutoCAD uh, for this tutorial. So first of all, I hope that you've done a sketch of your car. And we are going to open AutoCAD and then click on New Templates. It's going to open up a uh, drawing. But we're just going to type, and you can type anywhere, and you can see it showing up on my screen. You're going to type the word startup as one word, and you're going to change that number to one. You're going to press enter, and then you're going to type in new in all capital letters, and it's going to generate this create a new drawing start from scratch um, dialog box. I want you to pick metric, because as you know, TSA Dragster is always in metric. And here we are, I just closed drawing one, which was the original template, and now I'm in drawing two. The next thing you're going to do is come down here. You see grid. Click on grid. The keyboard shortcut for that is F7, by the way. F7 toggles grid on and off. The next thing that we're going to do is set up our layers. So we're going to go to layer properties right here. And I'm going to make this bigger by click dragging on this corner so that you can see everything. And I'm going to click on the new layer button. It has a little sun next to it. Do not draw on layer zero. Just leave it alone. And the first layer I'm going to make is a construction layer. And I'm going to change the color of that to yellow. The next thing I'm going to make is an object layer. And you can make this any color you want as long as it's not black, white, or yellow. So I'm going to make it light blue because that's easy for me to see. And then I'm going to do hidden and I'm going to make hidden red. And because hidden lines are not continuous lines, and if you look here under line type, it says continuous, I'm going to double click on that. It's going to pull up this dialog box that says select line type. Click on load, and we got to go find our line. I am going to use hidden 2 because that is a smaller version of the hidden line. Then I'm going to click on the new layer button and I'm going to do center and I'm going to make my center lines green. I need to change that line type so I'm going to click on hidden 2. I'm going to go load and I'm going to go find center 2. And if you've done AutoCAD drawings with me before these are the layers that I usually work with, those four layers. For this project we're going to add a couple of layers that you haven't used before. We're going to make a dimensions layer, so just name it dims, and we'll make dimensions purple. And for dimensions, we want to change this line type back to continuous. And we're also going to make a layer called block. This is the outline of the uh, dragster block, and we'll make it dark blue. And finally, there are two more layers that we're going to make. One is going to be called uh, Viewport. This is one layer that you can just make it black. And over here where it says Plot, you're going to click on that little icon that looks like a printer because we're not going to print the Viewport layer. And the next layer we're going to make is Border. And that one can also be black, but we're going to change the line weight. See this column right here? It says line weight, and all of them say default. We're going to change that one to 0.53, uh, 0.50. Okay, and we are going to plot that one, so we're going to turn him back on. Now I'm going to go ahead and get on my construction layer by double clicking on this icon. And I know it's going to drive you crazy, but there's no OK or Save button. You just hit a, you just hit Escape, and then close this dialog box up here where it says Close. 
So now you can see I'm on my construction layer. The light bulb means that it's on, the sun means it's unfrozen, and the little um, lock thing means it's unlocked. So under the draw menu, I'm going to select the thing that is an arrowhead with uh, a line with two arrowheads. That's my construction line. And I'm going to pick a point somewhere over here in the lower left hand corner and I'm going to drag it straight up and I'm going to drag it straight across right click to terminate. I should wind up with what looks like a giant L. For TSA Dragster you only draw the side and the top view. So I'm going to offset this line the entire width of the dragster and I'm going to do that by typing in the word offset, putting in the distance which is 305 millimeters, pressing enter, clicking the vertical line and clicking somewhere to the right and it, what offset does is it takes this line and it copies it ex the exact distance that I put in. Offset the entire height of the side view. So I'm going to type in offset, enter, 70, enter, click the bottom line, click above it. Now I'm going to do the distance in between. So I'm going to type in offset, 40, for the distance in between, click this line, click above it, enter. Offset again, and 42, enter. Click the line, click above it. Now I have the outline of my side view and my top view. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to find object snap. And there it is, also known as O Snap. I'm going to right click on Object Snap and I'm going to pick Object Snap Settings. It's going to bring up this dialog box and I'm going to turn off Extension and I'm going to leave on Intersection, Centers Fine, and Endpoint. And I'm going to tell it OK. Up here where it says Construction, I'm going to click the down arrow and I'm going to select Object. Oh no, I'm going to select Block. Make sure you're on the block layer. Click on line, come over here, and you'll see a X. X marks the spot. Drag it across, outline, and keep your line straight. I made a boo boo, so I'm going to undo. Line, click the X's, X marks the spot. And then the final one will be an endpoint. So see how the cursor looks like a giant box? Right click, enter. Do the same thing in the other view. Line. Click the X's, click the endpoint, right click, enter. Now I'm going to come up here, open up this menu, and I'm going to turn off the construction layer by clicking the little light bulb. And you'll see that the yellow lines have gone away.